Mount Rushmore of actors. Today on Rio's Positive POV, I'm going to give you my top four movie actors of all time. So let's not wait around. Let's get straight into it. Let's go. The first person I am putting on my Mount Rushmore is Marlon Brando. And Marlon Brando is going on the Mount Rushmore of actors off three performances three performances which I've picked him on but obviously he has many other great performances that he's put on throughout his lifetime. The performances I am choosing are The Godfather Part 1 which is one of my all-time top three acting performances ever. Uh, the second movie is On the Waterfront which is another unreal movie and one which I need to bring out a movie review for because it's definitely one I want to touch on and make people aware of if they haven't seen it because it's a a really top level movie which is highlighted of course by Marlon Brando's top level performance and the third movie is Last Tango in Paris and this is another movie which is just completely different from the other two I've just mentioned all three movies are completely different styles of movies but all three show off the acting range of Marlon Brando and there's no debating he is one of the top five actors of all time on any list on my Mount Rushmore, he is part of my top four. So first on the list, Marlon Brando. The second person I'm putting on my Mount Rushmore actors is not only the second person on the list, but is also hands down easily my favorite actor of all time. And he is Daniel Day-Lewis. And Daniel Day-Lewis, um, the first film I'm picking him on is My Left Foot which is a movie where he plays a gentleman with cerebral palsy and is a performance which he stayed in character throughout the whole of the shooting. So he was wheelchair bound for at least four months by shooting this movie. Um, Daniel Day-Lewis is known as being a method actor and the extreme levels that he goes to to get the authenticity of the character is just beyond imagination and his performances in every single film he puts in just blows me away. The second movie I'm picking him on is There Will Be Blood which is the Paul Thomas Anderson movie um, and it's just truly a not only is it an awesome movie I think that's helped massively by the director but it's just the intensity of Daniel Day-Lewis's character throughout the movie which pushes the story along. And apart from the last scene of the movie which is action based kind of, um, it's very much a character driven piece and the fact he keeps that intensity the whole way through is just a sight for sore eyes and the third movie which might be my favorite Daniel Day-Lewis performance is Gangs of New York um, every time Daniel Day-Lewis is on the screen I just feel like there's nobody else there the performance he puts on is that powerful that he just overshadows every single person he's on set with and for me that's an incredible feat to have especially when you're sharing the screen with some great actors um, so Daniel Day-Lewis for me the the fact he also has not done that many movies, the fact he's very selective with his characters that he picks also is a reason to put him up so high on the list. I think the fact he shoots a movie every couple of years, well, did shoot a movie every couple of years, allowed him to really delve into these characters and truly become them, which is basically what acting is, right? It's about becoming the character you're playing. And I feel like a lot of actors play have so many roles in a year, play three, four roles in a year, they don't change the accent, they don't change their body language or anything, it's just kind of a facial expression performance, which for me is just not enough to put yourself in that top tier level of actors where the four people that I'm picking are. So number two, Daniel Day-Lewis. The third person I'm picking for my Mount Rushmore is Jack Nicholson. I just spoke about intensity when speaking about Daniel Day-Lewis. The only other actor who may be more intense on screen is Jack Nicholson. And the three movies I've picked for Jack Nicholson are three performances where he plays either lunatic characters or villains per se. And all three performances I'm picking him on are completely different to the absolute max. The three characters are so far gone in their own mental capacity that it's just the fact he played them to such a level which allowed you to be emotionally connected with the characters even while either despising them, feeling sorry for them or just outright shitting yourself for the other characters in the movie. So the three movies I've picked is The Shining, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and The Departed. 
three of my all-time favorite movies three movies that sit in my top 50 and i think they're solely really there from the performances of jack nicholson and he is an actor who i don't think gets enough credit as he deserves and is a character actor who is just easily one of the best actors to ever touch a movie screen so third person on my list jack nicholson the fourth and final person i'm picking is robert de niro Robert De Niro for me has a filmography which is very hard to pick my favourite three movies from. He has done so many movies and so many top level performances which are just so intense and just so... You just feel for his characters no matter if he's playing a villain, if he's playing a good guy. There's just some emotional connection you have to his characters there is an intensity behind him and an empathy that he creates for his characters which is just something you don't normally see too often on screen so there's a few films i want to mention that i didn't pick there was five films that i was um and ahhing about the two that i left out was the godfather part two and heat two performances that i think are just insane from de niro but two which didn't make the cut and the reason why it was a bit harder for me to pick my top three between him because I think the other three that I put on the list, I think my favourite three films from them were pretty, pretty clear. They were three insane performances to pick through some other insane performances. But them films are just a different level above the rest. With uh, an era, it's a little bit harder. So the three that I've chose are Raging Bull, Taxi Driver and The Deer Hunter. The two performances he put in for Martin Scorsese are absolutely insane. Raging Bull rape page Jake LaMotta. That might be one of the most underrated performances ever. I don't hear enough people talking about his performance as Jake LaMotta when they're talking about De Niro and his performances. Obviously, when he played Travis Bickle in Taxi Driver, that's an insane, iconic movie. When he's looking in the mirror talking about, you talking to me? It's That's an iconic performance and an iconic scene. However, I think Raging Ball overall is a better film than Taxi Driver. So yeah, Raging Ball is probably my favourite film from De Niro. And then The Deer Hunter. The Deer Hunter is such a mind-messing movie. A movie which just shows the lengths that war can affect people. And I feel like his performance, again, the empathy that he created for the character was just second to none. So, that is my Mount Rushmore of actors. Please hit me up in the comments and let me know which actors you would pick on your Mount Rushmore. And let me know also the three movies you would pick for those so I can kind of see if you're on the right lines because there's a few actors who I had to leave out who I really like um, or if I believe your opinion is garbage and if I do I wouldn't tell you anyway because it's Rio's positive POV peace out